Yes guys, my name is Morsi and welcome back to my channel. In today's video we're going to be checking out the two French lads who may potentially bring the Euros home for France. We've got Team of the Season Mbappe and Path to Glory Griezmann. So guys, my luck is well and truly in. Last night I opened the 82 times 10 SBC. I wasn't recording it, I was just chilling out, relaxing. And I, uh, yeah, kind of a, I packed a quite expensive player, boys. He is untradeable, but just look at him. He's beautiful. Mr. Antoine Griezmann, pack pulled, untradeable, to go alongside my red player pick, Kylian Mbappe. I went for pretty much the whole year with kind of average pack luck. I packed Team of the Season De Jong, that was probably the most notable player. Um, until the past couple of weeks, in the space of like 15 days, I've got myself a Red the Pie, a Red Mbappe, and then a Part of Glory Griezmann. But these are the two boys we're going to be checking out in today's video. Combined, they're worth 7.5 million coins, which is mind blowing. Are they really worth that much money? We're going to see which one of the two performs better for me personally, and I'm going to give my honest opinion on which one you should go for if you've got the coins to spend. As it stands, Griezmann is currently going for about 3 to 3.2 million. And he is a live card, so if France win their next game and the game after that, three wins in their group, I believe he goes up to a 97. And if France go all the way to the final and they do win the Euros, this man gets a, a 99, is it? Or a 98, around there? But with five star, five star as well. As it stands, this card currently has four star, four star. I had team the season Griezmann last year, and he had the four star, three star, so the weak foot wasn't four. So I take the little boost on this card. Medium, medium work rates, five foot nine, left footed. Uh, expensive as hell and this is why his stats are absolutely mind-blowing the pace is a little bit on the low side finishing is essentially maxed out 99 almost across the board uh, with a hawk chem style passing is very similar you got mid to high 90s same with dribbling honestly guys there is a reason why this man is worth so much money as it stands this guy doesn't even need the upgrade because look at the stats where can you really improve I mean if you like ones or twos across the board, pace can go up a little bit, but you could just jab that up with a chem style. Stamina's max, jumping's max, strength and aggression do need that little bonus. Um, in regards to player traits, we've got finesse shot, flair, outside the foot shot. Wait, this guy has got a whole host of traits and then loads of CPU AI traits. So if this was Griezmann's card, those are the attributes. Let's go check out Mbappe. Okay, I have used Mbappe a lot since packing him. I played 26 matches, scored 43 goals and 12 assists. All of these were in foot champs or Div 1 and I'm sat at 2300 skill total, so it's super sweaty. The man is high low, 5 foot 10, right footed with 5 star skills and 4 star weak foot. Heading over to the attributes, we've got maxed out pace, essentially maxed out shooting. The dribbling is fantastic, minus the balance is a little bit on the low side, but he has 99 strength with the marksman cam. 77 aggression is a little bit on the low side, but it should not affect the card at all. Jumping, stamina 99. Mate, it's, it's Kylian Mbappe, team of the season. He's 97 overall, guys. Just look at the damn stats. He also has finesse shot, flare trait, outside the foot shot, and a few CPU AI traits. So these two cards look absolutely mind-blowing. Let me quickly see how much Mbappe is going for as it stands at the moment. Um, we'll be doing team of the season. I do prefer his team of the year, I'm not gonna lie. Purely for, wait, is he extinct? Or did I just max it off? Okay, mate, look how much money this guy's going for. About 4.4 million, so combined, even more than 7.5 million, which is absolutely mind blowing. In regards to custom tactics for today's video, we got press after possession loss, five width and seven depth. Four, three, one, two is the formation. The pie is sat in that little pocket. We got a Bappe and Griezmann up top. I cannot wait to try those two out together. Kante, Vieira and Kaka across the midfield three and the back four stays exactly the same. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ruin some people's day. All right, I'm 2300 skill total as it stands. Super, super sweaty. Uh, I'm going to go test out these boys. We're going to play three matches, back to back to back to back, truly test out these lads, see which one I prefer, see which one plays better. I've used Griezmann, I've used Mbappe, but I've not used them together as of yet. So it's going to be great to compare the two, but anyway, I'm going to compile all of the little clips into a montage for you guys. I'm going to catch up with you afterwards. And the lights are out and you're stumbling in the dark You kept pushing on, but then you went too far when your ship has sailed and all your dreams are lost Everything is wrong, you feel like it's your fault Just remember, I will be there for you, baby Remember, there's nothing out there to get you, don't forget it When life goes so much, just call me 
There we have it guys, path to glory Griezmann and team of the season Mbappe, the ultimate strike duo, 7.5, 7.6 million coins worth of players here. Are they worth the money? Let's not get it twisted. They're absolutely phenomenal. Some of the best cards I have used this game 100%. The one thing I love about Griezmann is his ball carrying ability. When he's got the ball at his feet, even though he doesn't feel absolutely rapid, his pace is still pretty respectable. But just be able to keep the ball close to his feet, nice, swift, agile dribbling. And the shooting's great. The finesse shot, we scored a nice goal with him inside the box. Left foot, right foot, that four-star weak foot definitely helped. The low strength, I didn't notice too much. He did not get bullied off the ball at all. The 99 penalties came in clutch. Absolutely rifle one top bins. Passing stats, the link-up play. I pretty much will play this guy as the kind of sit-off striker. So if you have Mbappe ahead of him, use Griezmann to link up the play. And if he gets an upgrade, mate, he's going to be like pretty much maxed out stats across the board, just minus the pace and a few individual stats. So massive thumbs up for Griez. Oh, Killian, oh, Killian, man, this guy. He's the best card I've used, honestly, on FIFA. It's just ridiculous. He's a glitch, an absolute glitch code. How quick he can control the ball and his like acceleration He's probably too quick for his own good. And the fact that the ball is pretty much glued to his feet while he's full on sprinting at my opponent, it's, uh, it's unfair, essentially. The amount of times I almost ran for kickoff with this guy, some crazy goals we scored, the finishing is fantastic. 
a couple of occasions when he's on his left foot, he may, when you like shoot across goal, you may notice him not finding the back of the net. Dribbling wise, taking on my opponent, this is the man I would 100% pick. The nice, close control dribbling, lack of care skill cancels. The balance, I didn't notice an issue at all. 87 is it's, it's fine, guys. The card is just too damn good. So I would definitely have to say team of the season, Mbappe is better. Um, and that makes sense because he's worth about 1.3 million coins more than Griezmann. But if Griezmann does get that upgrade and if France progress through to the next round of the Euros, then... Mate, we'll have to do the review all over again because they'll both be 97 overall. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this one. I hope you are getting some insane pack luck like myself. Fingers crossed watching this video gives you a bit of my luck because it's getting slightly ridiculous at the moment. I hope you're enjoying the Euros, guys, and I hope the team that you are supporting is doing well. And most importantly, I'll catch you soon for another video. Take it easy.